That looks like fun, Dex. It is. You look like you're enjoying it. I am. <laughs> Uh, You've just all... made a call in frustration, yeah, Dickon. it's because I'm getting all hot and bothered and this mullet keeps touching my neck. And, ah, oh, I don't yeah. like it, it's all hot. I'm starting to get a sweat. Oh, okay. It's getting <laughs> annoying. We're on the same page about I don't like it. Shall I? No, I like it. Oh. I've had it for two, oh, four I just months, distinctly though. heard you say, I don't <sighs> like it. Oh, I don't yeah. like it. Oh, oh yeah, I don't like the feeling. Okay, come in. I literally just go okay. boom straight no, across. Do, no, no, I'm not, it's not that. No, no, no. Yes. No. no. Right, let's go boom straight across. Do it. I can no, no, no. Boom no. straight across. No, not boom straight across. We have to have some I kind can of do stuff. This. I'm not a hairdresser, but I know that's well, not I a good idea. Right. Well, I'm I not. No, idea. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm not a good idea. Oh my goodness, there's so much it. of it. I'm just going to cut into yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> feels a little high. Oh, Dirk That feels quite high. Um. Yeah, I've gone a bit high there. Yeah, I thought so. I when we get back from Penguin Island, we'll yeah, cut the rest of the way. Yeah, but I don't want to do a straight line. Uh, Just do a straight line for now. There's nothing worse than a straight line. Can we get some line sticky line. tape? No straight lines in my cutting, I'm afraid. It's just terrible. Keep some of the curls. Okay, if there's a good curl, keep it, I want to. Okay. That's a nice curl. Keep that curl. That's that a nice keep that curl. curl. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's an alright curl. Oh my goodness, take on that, mate. I'm ruining it. I'm making a mess of it. It's terrible. Despite performing numerous violations against the art of hairdressing, I was genuinely pleased to be saying goodbye to Declan's mullet. Unfortunately, this hairstyle is contagious in the young and Ivan, much to my horror, had also become infected. Intervention time. The boys needed to get back to nature. A walk on Penguin Island was what was called for. So this is Penguin Island that we're on now. And although it was known to the Aboriginal people, it wasn't until a Canadian named Seaforth Mackenzie, what a name, he scuttled his boat here in 1914 and he took refuge living in the limestone caves behind me, just over here, and not until 1918 when he was given a grant that he could build a shack here on the island or build a house here on the island where he continued to live and it became, in the 1920s, it became a place for holiday makers to come and visit and he would have a little shop in there with an honesty box. They could help themselves and they just wrote down what they had taken and paid him later, I guess. So that's pretty nice. Yeah. Now it's a bird sanctuary, I think. Yeah. There's all sorts of birds. There's a lot of, a lot of gulls, a lot of um, really? pelicans, lot of seagulls. A lot of seagulls. <laughs> what? I hadn't noticed. Yeah. A lot of pelicans. But it's famous for its penguin, hence the name of the island. Although we've been told we're unlikely to see any penguins here today because they don't come in. Oh, it. there's one. Uh, there's a cheeky monkey uh, because they don't come in till night time. We've been enjoying this lovely walk around the island. It's a 2k walk around the island past the breeding colonies of birds. And these ones over here are pelicans. Apparently there are seven species of breeding pelicans here on the island. These ones here look like juveniles. Ivans. They're Ivans. Ivans juvenile are juvenile. delinquents. Yeah. But we haven't seen any penguins. We've seen the little boxes that they nest in. But apparently to see a penguin, we have to come back in between nine and three when, can you hear the gulls? They're not annoying at all. I've just decided to have a big sing song while I'm talking. <laughs> between nine and three when the penguin center is open and they have seven penguins in there apparently which they feed throughout the day. That's <laughs> the only time you're gonna see a penguin on this island. Can you still hear me? <laughs> Just those few there making all that racket. Although the gulls are noisy and plentiful, they still warrant the protection that the sanctuary offers. We'd noticed a gull a few days ago with a squid lure attached to his tail feathers. There's a bird we just saw over here. It has a, um, a squid lure on its, hanging off its butt. We'll just see how close we can get to it. You never know, we might do a, uh, a rescue on this bird. I think it will fly away. What are the chances, eh? It's pretty unlikely, but it's just up here. Oh, here he goes. Oh, it's working. There he is. There he goes. The man's in trouble. Yeah, we did it. 
Get really shallow. Get really shallow. Get really shallow. Unable to catch or help the gull at that time, now we spotted him again in dire need of attention. All right, so this seagull has got a squid lure attached to his back and we know he can't fly. Oh, oh he's all tied up. He's really... Well done, Rob. Well done. Keep that over his head. Keep that over his head. And uh, oh, oh. hold that down. You hold his head, Rob, do the. Uh, oh, oh, dear. Oh, it's really cool. Oh, oh hold it. Dicks, the dicks oh, dear. Yeah. Just cover them up. Cover his head. Yeah. That's not the same one. It's yeah, orange. Yeah, that's, that's oh. orange. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, yeah, the other one's orange. You're right. Yeah. I think. Squid lure. Oh, man. Oh, oh he's hurt. Yeah, he's bad. Yeah, I don't know what's still caught around there. Something else caught there, too, is there? Yep. Hold, right. hold, 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 hold on. Maybe hold we need to take him to the uh, lady. Yeah. Yep. So we need to go and find a knife. To help cut the thing off. With Declan carrying the wounded bird and more gulls flying above us looking on, we sought out the island's warden to get a knife to release the lure and fishing line that had become wound around the bird's leg, preventing him from walking or flying. Oh, just there. Don't get a skin or his. No, no. Oh, well done. That definitely relates oh, to help. the tension yeah. off it. Oh, yeah. it's all oh, that's better. Now he can move this his leg again. Away. Yeah. Well, his legs pretty much up. Oh no, this oh. his legs probably okay. You know. Well, it's just down by so, the legs. So now you probably find it'll come. Out. Oh, maybe just, just, yeah, this maybe just maybe cut those other little bits of nylon. Yeah, there's more nylon on there. Hold him, hold him down. Yeah, okay. I reckon we, I reckon we'll release this guy. I reckon this guy's going to be all right. You know. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Bit of blood, but you know. Pretty. Actually, what I thought was blood is actually nylon. I think. Yeah, there's a lot of nylon there. We might oh. um, put him down out the back. Um, so if it doesn't fly off, we can yeah. grab it a bit easier. I've got a box, a banana box with holes. Ooh. 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 Poor thing. You can see those pretty back close. feathers are yeah. not good. That's a bit better. Yeah, that's good. You almost got it. Yeah. Just don't want to pull it too hard, but... Hey! Yeah, it's all done. So that's free, but look as... That yeah. looks pretty knackered. Ooh, it's really bad, eh? Take well, the feathers come out, so... Yeah, he'll, he'll, yeah, he'll, right, that'll just read. Just to hold that, just spread it up. Oh, it's actually not, not that. too bad, eh? It right. look, looks worse than what it is. Yeah, that's all. That. Oh, has it got the nylon on it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a bit wrapped around here. Oh, yeah. So just, uh, it might just oh, slide off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is yeah. Yeah. some up in here, though, too. Yeah. Or that's that's some, that's some that's recoverable. That's recoverable. Yeah. The warden took the injured gull into their back garden for observation and recovery, but by the morning he had flown away. Well, Declan, I save you, Declan D. Well done. I know. My my empathy for uh, for the nature. For all creatures. It was just it was just overflowing, and so I, I couldn't I couldn't help myself but help the bird. Beautiful moment. Yeah. 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 No, no, that was great. That it was, was great. awesome to yeah. be able to be there because we saw, we think this is the one we saw a couple of days ago. Yeah, it's especially because the other bottom. side is orange. It's a bit orange there, it might there be the one. Go. Anyway, yeah. we'll look at the footage to confirm. But to see it again, I think we're very lucky. In fact, I'd like to think the bird is thinking, I was very lucky those, those guys found You think he was very lucky when you threw your t-shirt over him. But, but I mean, yeah, yeah like if, it, if there were two different ones, that would just be a bit unlucky. Yes. Have. In the same area, it doesn't seem likely, does it? Yeah. Um, good, work. good work. Yeah. Good deed for the day done. Okay. Team Hamill? Yeah. <laughs> Declan marked this small victory by going kiting. It was a double celebration of sorts because Declan was recently contacted by one of our viewers whose New Zealand company, Maintenance Services Waikato, have reached out to sponsor him a new kite for which he is very grateful. Thank you for sponsoring me. Yeah, thank you. One good turn deserves another. And Ivan's friend Dara from Bustleton had also reached out to us to join us for a week of work experience. For the next few days, we've got one of Ivan's friends on board with us. He somehow <laughs> convinced the school that 
four days on a boat would be work experience. So we're putting him to work, splicing the mainsail, putting up Mr. Ibina. We're heading off to Rottnest Island. So most of his work experience will be at anchor. Dara, you're sporting a very interesting haircut there. Yeah. And I might say you're also the person responsible for Ivan's interesting Rob, haircut. Rob likes it. He thinks it's good. It is He's good. He's alone in that. It is good. You're yeah. to stay well away from the scissor drawer <laughs> while mm. you're here. But what do you hope to get out of your work experience? I don't know. Get some knowledge about... I don't know. Oh, what, what, okay. What yeah, like? Reagan. No, he's just here so he doesn't have to go to some, like, <laughs> McDonald's or something. McDonald's would be better than with you. Alright, then go! <laughs> oh, no, I'm the hoping... disrespect. I'm, don't listen to him. I'm hoping to get some knowledge about how, like, actually boating life works. It's not all just fun and games. And just what every day is like. It's helping. It's not just sitting around all day. Yeah, can I just fun. ask you a question? How long were you at the helm looking for crab pots before you started complaining? 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Try like two hours, I reckon. I swatted a couple dogs and yeah. We put Dara at the helm looking for crab pots and just being the captain. That's because And I'm... at 20 minutes he was already saying, how much long do I have to sit here? I wasn't. Over. Ivan was disrespecting me, so I had to get him up there. Yeah. What? We'll see. Unfortunately, as the journey progressed, it became clear that even the gentle conditions of this downwind sail were not conducive to a smooth ride for Dara's stomach. He began to feel sick, and then he was sick. And even when we dropped anchor at Rottnest Island, that queasy feeling remained. So Dara, you've done two nights at three days. We haven't tied a knot. You haven't been up the mast. You did hoist the sail, but now you're going home. Why is that? You did drive the tender too, though. A true, you did that. Yeah, uh, just feeling a bit nauseous when I'm on the boat. Yeah. It's not, not for me. Yeah. <laughs> we did a sail yesterday and you were a little bit sick and you haven't been that well yeah. today either. I lasted a while and then just got sick. You did. So yeah. we're very disappointed to see you go, but at least we did sail a little Yeah, distance. we did sail. Yeah. Good on you, mate. It's all right. It's okay. Yeah. A lot of people empathize with you on this. <laughs> Seasickness is an awful thing yeah, to have. It's not nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of stinks seeing Dara go. You know, it's um, man, the seasickness thing is such a such a drama. You know, thousands of years of maritime shipmanship, people ship, and it's still a problem. We haven't got a resolution to seasicknesses. If you have any ideas, comments below, please. That would be great. Good on you, Dara. Miss you. If you enjoyed this episode, please comment, give us a thumbs up, and best of all, share it. It helps us heaps. Come on, eat it, it's so bad.